and the first card you've got is the fruit card and this is showing a lot of abundance sweet abundance coming in for you so things are about to change for the better things are life is about to get a lot more sweeter than it has been and you can see there's a lot of fruit on these trees over here so you are starting to produce abundance and abundance is coming your way there You've got the tree card over here, and this is about growth. And so you're setting down foundations, and things are starting to blossom and bloom for you there. So, um, you know, this is about focusing a lot on the family. That's what the tree usually signifies. But this is about laying stable foundations and things starting to grow and improve and you know the harvest is coming in for you pretty soon you've got the three card over here and this is about change uh this is also about um you know dealing with a lot of people uh working hard uh, so you're building something up your whatever you're working on is starting to progress to prosper and you're starting to focus a lot on that whether it's building your family life building your career but things are starting to move forward for you there so a lot of growth this three is all about growth and you've got the tree card over here this is an improvement of health as well so a lot of abundance coming in and a lot of growth coming in for this new year for you now in the past you've got the water card of here so whatever situation you were in you were feeling very isolated it could have been a home situation there but feeling very isolated feeling very very emotionally overwhelmed over here and it seems like you were dealing with a lot of people that said a lot of things to you pretending to be your friends people uh you know uh, were pulling the wool over your eyes really pretending to be friendly with you were uh, behind your back were saying really nasty things about you so it seems like uh, a lot of um lies and deceit going on with the people around you people pretending to support you and when you know um, as they say when the rubber meets the road they did not come through for you there now going into the future you've got the dancing card so you do need to get out there and socialize in order for you to meet people don't keep yourself stuck and don't keep yourself lonely and isolated with this fountain card you can see it's a single fountain in the middle of everything so you it seems like you have been isolating yourself emotionally and it's now time for you to get out there and have some fun you need to stand your ground for whatever it is uh, you believe in and you've got all the ammunition you need uh, don't let anybody uh, get the better of you it seems like, uh, you know, um, you will be able to be victorious in whatever it is you're doing, but you need to stand up for yourself, um, you know, and say what you mean. Don't You don't need to beat around the bush. Just say what you mean um, and let that people know that, you know, you mean business. <laughs> so uh, uh, make sure that, you know, you're not allowing people to take advantage of you over there with that gun card. So also it's a, it's a card uh, that says that you need to focus on whatever it is you want and go for it. And you will be victorious in it. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Two of Blades here, the Chariot card, uh, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. So, you know, it seems like, um, you know, uh, maybe you've been in a situation recently where you have been getting together with friends, socializing quite a bit over here, possibly. But things are starting to happen for you with that Nine of Cups. So things that you are setting your mind on, uh, goals that you are going after, you are starting to achieve it. And this is a card of, you know, celebrating that success. Uh, you've got the five of cups over here. So you're still crying about things that happened to you in the past. So there's been a lot of disappointment and upheaval for you there. But there's somebody around you that's giving you some good advice and some support. Somebody who's being very loyal to you over there. It looks like you want to make a home move there. You might be thinking of buying a new home and moving on. Uh, and you're still facing some kind of conflict. So there could be some kind of legal battle that you're, you're still involved in over here. And the person that you're dealing with... Um, you know, it's pretty much, uh, they're behaving pretty childishly there. 
you know, there's a lot of m minor arguments. They seem to be pressurizing you about s making a decision about something. They seem to have left you down quite a bit. Uh, whatever they're offering you, you're not willing to accept it. So you're not looking and you're not listening to whatever they've got to say. There might be a lot of breakdown of communication that is going on over here. So still involved <coughs> in some kind of argument, some kind of conflict over there. But you're not really listening to them anymore. You are not trying to follow your own pathway. And don't let yourself get emotionally... Uh, drawn into a situation. So whatever this conflict is, um, you know, if it doesn't uh, suit you, then don't accept it, whatever this offer is that may be coming in for you. Now you've got the Six of Coins of here and the Six of Wands. So these are two cards of victory. The Six of Coins shows that money is going to be coming in. So if you've been going through financial constraints, it looks like there is it's about to turn for you there and there is a lot of finance coming in. People are going to be very, very generous with you. Whatever it is you're doing, uh, you know, if you're looking for a financial assistance or any kind of assistance, that is going to be coming in there. And whatever obstacles and problems you've been dealing with, you've got that Six of Wands, so you are going to be victorious. Whatever the hurdles are, you are going to be the person that finishes first so uh, you know you are overcoming any kind of difficulties and problems that you've been going through you've been under a lot of stress and a lot of strain recently maybe you have had some health issues as well um, you know maybe not sleeping well but also a lot of health issues and expecting the worst case scenario as well with this uh, uh, nine of blades in the recent past and uh, You've got the nine of uh, coins. So, you know, perhaps you've also had a lot of issues with regards to money. You've been very, very worried about money. You've had to be very, very independent recently. And maybe that has caused uh, money issues, have caused a lot of worry and, uh, you know, sleepless nights as well. So you are worried about that. But, you know, it looks like money is going to be coming in for you. There is victory that is coming in for you. You've got the page of cups over here. There's some kind of new thing that you are considering doing. So you might be thinking about buying a new home. You could be considering... Uh, doing some further training or further studying. Uh, you may be even thinking about starting a brand new job. So this has been playing on your mind quite a bit. And you're waiting for some kind of news to come in with regards to that. You've got the Knight of Coins. So this is all about the work. So it's possible that you're waiting for a new job to come in. You will be working pretty hard pretty soon over there. And you know it's going to bring the coin in. So if you're having problems uh, with finances, that's going to start settling down. You're going to be working very, very independently, but working pretty hard as well. Now, um, what's going on with you? You've got the Knight of Wands, so a decision will need to be made pretty quickly there. With this Knight of Wands, uh, you know you're going to have to be you're going to be pretty busy. Um, uh, you might even relocate to do this job. The Knight of Wands is usually about travel. So there's some travel coming in on the work front, maybe traveling to do a new project, maybe in traveling to do a start a new job. There's some commuting that come is coming in with that job. And you know, you're gonna have to um there's a lot of energy that is going to be needed from you. So you're going to have to be pretty fit uh, to do this job because it's going to require a lot of hands-on work, whatever it is you're doing. You can even see there with that Knight of Coins being very hands-on uh, with whatever it is you're going to be doing. Uh, make sure that you know, you're know getting uh, looking out for your help. Keep that health. Um, keep up with your health. Don't overindulge. Um, you know, look after it. The Temperance card, uh, you know, don't let yourself be um, bullied by anybody. You know, try and keep an even temper, keep your cool, really. And it's also a time for you to use all your experience and do whatever it is you're doing. Uh, you know, rope in all that experience and use that. There's some kind of choice as well that's coming in on the job front. Um, and if anybody upsets you, can't attend, really. Try and look at the positives of it. Uh, the Temperance card also talks about, you know, taking advice from somebody, um, you know, with regards to work or, you know, whatever you want to focus on you might deal with something that's pretty stubborn as well so you may need to count to 10 uh first before you can actually sort through whatever you know they're being obstinate being very very stubborn you can see there but you will be able to win them over uh just make sure you don't lose your temper so that's a very important thing um, you know, uh, not to, to uh, lose your temper and uh, also to take advice, listen to everybody's opinions and get a middle of the road evaluation of things first uh, before you make a decision about anything. Now, you want to make a brand new start. You are tired of whatever's gone on and you are hoping that this is going to bring, this year brings in a big change for you there. You've had to let go quite a bit in the past and so this is a, a something, you know, that you were invested in uh, quite emotionally invested in, you've had to let that go and move on.
Now you've got the Five of Blades coming up for you, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Wands. So the Five of Blades, you're still dealing with a little bit of conflict. There might be some legal issues that need to be sorted out. Um, you know, you might be feeling as though whatever was done, you felt very humiliated in. Uh, you felt as though somebody took advantage of you and you felt like you didn't win this particular case as well. There seems to have been a, you know, a lot of conflict, a lot of nastiness, and there was a lot of criticism about how you acted in the situation. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in for you there. It's clearing the road and it's bringing about that transformation. So the road is opening up. You can see this dog running next to this man. So this person who, that you're getting advice from is still very loyal and you, know, you can rely on that advice. But a lot of people giving you recognition. So the Wheel of Fortune turning very favorably and it's also bringing in the coin there. Whatever this job is that you're going to be doing soon, you're going to be pretty... Uh, stressed out so try not to stress out you know get balance back in your life temperance is very important here look after your health get sleep get rest and don't allow yourself to get stressed out it, you know you're going to be working to deadlines this is a time for you to delegate duties or to rope in some kind of assistance and help so that you are not overwhelmed and not snowed in by all the work uh, that is coming in for you so a brand new start coming in after this 10 of wands uh, but you know this is about tying up loose ends really in january and still being stressed out because you are still working towards deadlines you need to get some assistance and help but the wheel of fortune is going to come in for you and change everything Everything for the better so whatever conflict you've been dealing with it looks like you're getting out of it you're going to be victorious in it um, and you just need to make sure that you don't get upset by whatever is going on try and keep an even temper really uh, and things should come your you know should work out so there again you've got uh, the nine of winter and this is the fairy tarot and it says you are very stressed out unfounded fear focusing on the worst case scenario and allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem so stop worrying uh, you know it doesn't solve anything it just gives you ulcers so you know get a good night's sleep get some rest do some sports do something that distracts you from all the anxiety uh, in order for you to um, you know um, come out of this feeling so that it doesn't that energy doesn't hold you back and the wheel of fortune coming in again so the cycle of uh, you know um, problems is now over and put it uh, to rest with the old year and as you go into the new year make sure that you know you are uh, uh, looking forward to the positives in life so the delays are over sudden and unexpected good luck um, so there could be new car or travel so you've got the wheel of fortune appearing twice over here uh, for you and it looks like things are about to change in a very very positive way for you um, you know things are, are going to be moving forward for you there you've got the wheel of fortune there so things are moving forward for you like I said uh, like this card says it could be like a new car there could be some travel over there, but good luck is coming your way over there. So don't worry, don't stress out about things. And you've got the three of winter over here. So reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from the situation. Sadness that will heal with time. So whatever this heartbreak was that you went through, whatever the breakdown of communications, you could, you've got even that two of um, blades there with this three of uh, winter, which is the three of swords, two of blades, two of swords. Over here. You can see there's a lot of conflict still going on. Uh, you know, if it doesn't serve you, don't accept any kind of apologies or don't accept any kind of communication with this person because they seem to have broken your heart and, uh, you know, they seem to have bullied you a lot. Um, you know, you will heal from it. Uh, but you need to put that part of your life to rest and accept uh, that the Wheel of Fortune is bringing in this good luck, this big change for you. And stop stressing about things. Stop being so anxious. Uh, relax and start enjoying life. That's very important. Focus on your work. It's going to be the thing that distracts you and you'll be able to meet new people as well. But don't let it overly take over your life too much because then you end up doing too much. Um, putting all your uh, energies into that work, uh, which is not a good thing either, because that in itself can cause stress. So find a nice balance between the two, between the work and between the home life, between your social life and your work life. That is very, very important. That is what temperance is telling you to do. Find that balance and look after your health. Uh, you know, don't let the stress get to you. Um, you know, do some exercise, change your diet, whatever it takes uh, to bring in health into your life. So I wish you all the best for 2020 and I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.